I'm Steve Scats. This is the official 1994 Bug Jam video. Morning. This is a wake up call. What are you doing asleep still? It's nearly 10 o'clock. There's a lovely car over there. I think you should film it. Oh, oh yeah. There you go. Excuse me. Excuse me. Young man. Uh, for a start off, you're not in the beetle. And for a second, you're still asleep. Why? Oh. Hi. Hello there. What are you doing? Just putting on a tailpipe. On the What sort of tailpipe's that then? A stinger tailpipe. Yeah? Does it make it go any faster? No, it makes it a lot noisier. Noisier? Yes. So all the old grannies, I bet they don't like that, do they? No, but who cares? Like that. I'm gonna send him to outer space. Progressing here, I cannot dance at you all. You can't, no. that, but that makes it better. Does it? And I'll show you. Look, look, you go one, two, three, like that. Go, More come on, than me. come on, we want to go. One, two, and back. Three, not bad, eh? Not bad, not three. bad for a beginner. Yeah. Hey, nice car, Martin. Any chance of letting me have a go? I should think we can sort you out. Yeah, with that. great. I'm going to get in then. <laughs> Right, Bug Jam 1994, we're in the Ravy Mad t-shirt stand and we're with Simon, the man himself. Busy man this weekend, how's the stall been doing? The stall's been doing alright, I haven't been here most of the time because I've been really busy, you've probably seen me other places. Uh, it's done well I think, uh, got some new designs out which I'm quite pleased with. Uh, it's been a good weekend, it really has been good. Want to show us some of your designs then? Yeah, which ones are your new ones? Well, uh, this is one of our new ones. Yeah. Um, this is Ruston Prime, it's an event we sponsored, you may have seen it earlier. Oh yeah, we've it's, seen them, yeah. yeah. Really funny. Uh, another one, new bus one. Everyone likes this, bit cartoony and sort of trendy as well. And nice and low as well. Yeah, he's low. That's can't, why we can't, like him. I can't draw them high, I don't know why. <laughs> uh, one of our, that's actually one of our old designs, but a classic. Scraping the ground once again. <laughs> so I see, yeah. Not bad. This one. Statement of the year, I think. Why grow up? Um, good, good question. It fits, but, um, it fits in with everything I do, really. Yeah. Like, Riding BMXs and skateboarding and stuff, it, it's just, you know, whenever someone comes in, and that bike too, too small for you or something, just like, wow. Why grow why up? Grow yeah, up I've still got my tomahawk. <laughs> <laughs> got budget at home. Yeah, that's right. Not to see the trouble. Yeah.
I do now. I apologise for this. I've obviously upset the man who's a very intelligent person. Hang on, hang on, come back. I'll ask you a good question. Would you like to travel the world? Yeah, I'd like to like work with children. And, and have you got a personality? Yeah, I've got a big one. You've got a big personality! I didn't see it, but he's got one. Alright, thank you very much, Roberta. Contestant number two. Oh, yeah. Come on, big round of applause. Swiss Bunter! What's your name, please? Tori. Tori? Tara. Thank you very much. And where'd you come from, Tara? Canterbury, Kent. Kent? Lovely part of the world, Kent. I come from there myself. Lovely. And uh, do you want to travel the world? I'd love to. Have you got a Volkswagen? No. Your boyfriend has. So you haven't got a boyfriend? She hasn't got a boyfriend. More cheers. Do you regret entering Miss Butcher now? It's about 50 times now inside. Not on stage in front of hundreds of people. <laughs> So you have a boyfriend. Boyfriend, that's. But no, let's not discount her because she's got a boyfriend. I think we should carry on with the competition regardless. Thanks very much. Bye. Now this. Yes. Where's that water pistol now? from Kent. Do you know the people from Canterbury? You don't. Maybe you've been in chat later on with the Kent type people. Are you telling me to shut up? What was that, sorry? Have you got a Volkswagen? Yes. You have? Have you got a boyfriend? No. Did you want to have a boyfriend? Yes, I'd like to hear. And do you come to Bug Jam often? I mean, once a year, perhaps. <laughs> You've come last year? Yes. Why didn't you enter the contest? Couldn't be bothered. Couldn't be bothered. Alright then, let's uh, move on to the next contestant, please. We'll do another contestant. <laughs> Lovely. Where did you come from again? Corby. Corby? Where's Corby? Over the office furniture! Where's Corby? <laughs> I want to hear a chant that says, get your tattoo out for the boys. Here comes the tattoo. Where is it? Oh. What's your tattoo on? Yeah, you two can go up there as well. And you were... Yeah. And Nuna as well, sir. Can you go up there again? Go on, let them all up again. Turning a bit rude, isn't it, lads? Do we mind? No! Alright then, have we had enough now? Have we had enough now? No! 
No, I'm not going to put it for any more talk to you. I just want to cheer for which one of these you actually like better, okay? First, cheer.
won the BMX as we saw you earlier doing some backflips. What's going through your head when you're doing something like that? Uh, oh my God, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, it's just um, just basically thinking about like landing on your head and stuff. That's yeah. the scariest part of it. Like you know, just pulling out enough to clear the ramp because like when up on your neck or something, you'd like probably break it and <laughs> not a nice thing so, to do. Yeah. No, no. So yeah, it's like pretty scary and all that, but uh, you, you sort of don't think about it too much until you go through it because I like, don't want to compromise. Right, I've stuff. heard there's a rumour that you're going to do a 720 degree one. <laughs> Is this true? Uh, that's, no, that's uh, no, that's that's not true. No, a 180 one, which is yeah. like a backflip, but you sort of come. Oh, and down. you spin as well yeah. at the same time. So you land back on the ramp, and you can like ride out. Hard manoeuvre to make though. Yeah, it's it's a lot more dangerous because like you're twisting as well as flipping, and sometimes a twist can screw the flip up all the other way around, you know. Yeah. And uh, it's just like you know worth practicing on mattresses and stuff like that first. I think. Yeah. So it's a bit of hit or miss at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's like uh, you practice uh, with nets, though. I believe you put nets down. Didn't no, you? we doing... We first like started learning on uh, mattresses. We found like a yeah. mattress firm, and uh, we started doing on there. We had like about um, we had 35 double mattresses and stuff. Oh, so you like, tended to there. fall asleep with them, did you? Yeah. yeah. with your car and what you've done to it. It's looking great. Can you tell us what you've done and all your work? Well, this is how the car was originally. When I picked it up in 92, I, I bought it in 92. And this is the original state of the car. And I showed it last year and I was criticised on all the rust patches. So all I've had done is just the bodywork. And underneath it's never been welded. And the bumpers are original and the hubcaps are original, it's just re-chromed. And basically the cars, everything, as you see, it, is how it came out of the factory. Yeah, how's the engine? Is that still the original engine? Yeah, it's still the original engine. Every six months it's been serviced since brand new. Yeah. The seats are in the service history and it's got 48,000 miles on the clock. Ah, so not bad. Do you use it every day? No. Don't so mind admitting it. It's not, it's not <laughs> a daily it, driver. Is it garaged then? Yeah, you it's keep garaged. it garaged? It's got a cotton cover and I don't use it every day. 
Let's you just bring it to the just, show. Just so take it out on nice days. Take it round to Granny's and yeah, that sort of that's stuff. Right. Yeah. yeah, I don't mind a minute it's not a bad thing. <laughs>
Thank you.